Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It is 7.20 in the morning. My name is Grace Ann, and this is Grace Ann Reads. I'm currently eating my breakfast before I skedaddle to work, but I wanted to take you guys along on my day today. It's another deadline week at work, and I'm getting my hair cut today, so it's very exciting. Okay, friends, very quickly, <laughs> very quickly before I head into work, I am... Oh, I'm falling. Currently reading The Writing Retreat by Julia Bartz. I am, I think my audiobook says I'm 57% through it. I'm on page 175. Um, I, what do I want to say? This book is, of course, about a writing retreat. I think it's five, four or five writers um, get invited to this exclusive mansion for a writing retreat by this, like, esteemed author and things start happening um there's some sort of competition element in it and i love a setting where people are snowed in and this has that however i'm not really loving the story and where it's going um and i think that that is kind of a theme that a lot of people have been saying when they talk about this book and i didn't really get it until i started reading it I was thinking, you know, snowy, book-centered thriller. Um, I personally wouldn't call this a thriller. I am having a really hard time caring and trying to understand what the central conflict is in this. A couple of different things have been introduced. There's some really weird, like, sex scenes. Can we just talk about that? Um, I, I don't think that's a spoiler at all because I don't think it has any, if it is a spoiler and I finish this in this video, I will cut that out. Um, I just, I, I'm having a hard time, but I have some theories, so I want to know how it ends up, but I just don't think it's going to be satisfying and I, this, this isn't going to be a five star, I know. Right now it's kind of sitting at a two or a three, um not one of my favorite snowed in thrillers so we will see how this goes but i gotta go to work do my little taxes if you're new here i'm an accountant i'm a cpa i do taxes and there are tax deadlines coming up there is the september 30th deadline there is the october 15th deadline so if you have not filed your taxes file your taxes um and if you have waited this long to talk to your accountant no, they're mad at you. Just know. They're mad. They're mad. Okay, we have short hair again. I absolutely love how short it is and how like just so much lighter it feels. Oh my gosh, my hair feels, my head just feels so much lighter. Um, but I went and got my hair done and then I found a used bookstore back here near, it's on this like little lake in my city and it's a used bookstore apparently that's been there for like 40 years and I didn't know about it. And I think that's a crime. So I picked up a book. 
I got The Herd by Andrea Bartz. She has written something else. And if I can remember what it is, maybe I should just look in the book. You think? Maybe? Let me look and see. The Lost Night. This must have been before because she... She... Or maybe I'm thinking of Julia Bartz because I'm reading The Writing Retreat. Maybe they're like sisters. Or like in-laws but it's called the herd uh the back says as ceo of the herd an elite women only co-working space eleanor wall seems to have it all close friends a sweet husband and the most glamorous and, su and successful female empowerment based company in new york city then she vanishes on the night of a glitzy press conference and the police suspect foul play for Hannah Bradley, the head of PR for The Herd and Eleanor's best friend, this is a nightmare. For Hannah's sister, Katie, a journalist, this is the story that will make her career. But when the sisters launch their own investigation and begin to learn what Eleanor was hiding, they must also face the secrets they've been keeping from each other and confront just how dangerous it can be when women's perfect veneers start to crack. Is that, and just look at this cover. Isn't that absolutely stunning? Um, I love a female-centered thriller. Um, it's just a great time. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to go home. We're going to make some new friends. Hello, sir. Thank you. Um, we're going to make some dinner. We're going to read our book. I want to finish it tonight. So we're going to see if that happens. We're just going to run our fingers through our hair all day because I think it's so fun and so just like oh it's fantastic and uh let's see what happens y'all i was right look here we go andrea bartz julia bartz what are the odds that's so crazy okay let me check and see how far I am through this because I know I'm much further than this I listened to the audiobook this morning let me see okay according to my audiobook I am now 86% of the way through the writing retreat that puts me at about page 265 of don't look at the words grace it's like 310 315 ish pages I think 309 it's still kind of hovering around a three for me so far. Not, I don't hate the twist. I think it's interesting. I think it's a uh, interesting little twisty twist. Um, I don't like the main character slash narrator slash whoever she is. Um, I just, I find her annoying personally. So... We're going to read this and actually my hold for the audiobook for Small Town Big Magic came up today, which I was expecting to have to wait like four more weeks, but I guess whoever put the hold on it didn't want it. Thank you. So I may pick that up after I finish this or I'll watch some YouTube or some TV. Who knows? I just cannot get over my hair right now. I feel so free so unencumbered by inches of hair okay I have I got myself a little sparkly rosé I got dinner in the oven and I am gonna read <laughs> Good morning everyone it is now the next morning it is thursday morning and i just finished the writing retreat i did not end up reading last night just wasn't feeling it um i knocked out pretty soon after i updated you i think what i want to do is watch the literally dead book club's discussion of this before i give my final rating i'm thinking it's just gonna be a three I don't love how it ended. Um, I think it was kind of cheap, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm still mulling it over in my mind. 
I enjoyed it. It was good. It was uh, suspenseful, I would say. I was really interested in what was going to happen next. Like I kept reading. I think I read this in three days. So I would say that's pretty. As you can see, I can't stop touching my hair still. I'm still loving it. Um, so I would say it's a good thing. And I, that's why I don't want to give it like a two. Um, and I liked it. Like it was okay. I just need to, I need to read some reviews. I need to see what other people think about it. And then I think I can give my final thoughts and opinions. I also wanted to show y'all, so in a previous video, which I will put wherever, I found this really cute like pumpkin candle holder at Target. And obviously, or it was a candle, I guess. Um, I burned through the entire thing in like a day. It was the, I think it's pumpkin bourbon, or bourbon pumpkin or whatever from Target. And I went back last night to Target because I had to pick up a couple of things and they don't have, they didn't have the bourbon pumpkin anymore. Like I couldn't even find these. So I guess they're sold out, but I did find the, um, the scent of candle that I have upstairs. And that is warm cider and cinnamon. Y'all know I like cinnamon and they're in the shape of an apple. Can you even? Look how freaking cute that is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. It is the perfect size in my candle pumpkin and light it. I just don't want it to be like off. And now it's I'm gonna have a candle down here. That's a scent that I like. I was trying to find like a small, like maybe like a little pillar um, candle version of the bourbon pumpkin, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So maybe I will just have to be patient and wait. Oh gosh, I can't put this back correctly. For them to come back or them to restock them. But I have four of these apple things, so I'm gonna throw one upstairs as well because I burned through that candle really quickly. And then our house is just gonna smell fantastic. Like Okay, cool cats and kittens. We are in the car because I have some Starbucks gift cards that I need to use up. So we are taking our lunch break to the Starbies. Everyone should be clapping for me because I put a bra on today. Still in my matching, excuse me, in my matching Amazon set that I wear as pajamas, but um, you win some, you lose some, okay? I couldn't get out of the pajamas just yet. So we are going to go in. My go-to Starbucks drink is a brown sugar shake and espresso. So let's go get one. <laughs> 